Good day, hi ho kids, and welcome to our today's discussion. Before we continue with our topic for today, let us have a recall first about singular and plural. Again, when we say singular, it means only one. And when we say plural, it means more than one. Alright, for today, we are going to talk about subject and verb agreement. The rule is that if we have a singular noun, we must have a singular verb. And if we have a plural noun, we must have a plural verb. And how do you form singular verbs? You form singular verbs by adding S or ES at the end or by using the linking verb IS. Let's have some examples. The girl eats her meal. For this one, our noun is girl. And girl is only one or singular. That is why the verb eat ends with letter S. So it now becomes eats. Again, the rule is that if we have a singular subject, we must have a singular verb. Next, that lady is pretty. For this one, our noun is lady, and the word lady is singular. That is why we are going to use the linking verb is. Again, singular noun takes a singular verb. And how do you form plural verbs? You form plural verbs by not doing anything because it will remain in its base form. And instead of using is, we are going to use are. Let's have some examples. The girls eat their meal. For this one, our noun is girls and girls is plural. So the verb eat remains in its base form. Again, a plural noun takes a plural verb. Those ladies are pretty. For this one, our noun is ladies and ladies is plural. That is why we are going to use the linking verb are. Let us now talk about the points to remember in this lesson. First, the verb must always agree with the subject. If we have a singular noun, we must have a singular verb. And if we have a plural noun, we must have a plural verb. Next, add S or ES at the end of the verb to make it singular. And use the base form of the verb for plural subject. That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye, hi-ho kids.